guys have made the drop all day. It was forecast for being absolutely horrendous. Alrighty then, welcome back. Thanks for checking in. Now, weather forecasts. Do you listen to them? If you work outdoors, generally you'll be looking at weather forecasts because outdoors is where weather happens, right? And sometimes we've got to plan our work. But are they worth listening to? Are they accurate? Are they just a waste of time? Now, I would definitely be lying if I said I don't look at weather forecasts. Well, those cheeseburgers were only the beginning because a breakfast system is on it. And I do kind of use them as a general pattern of what we're doing, but you've just got to get out there sometimes. You've got to wake up in the morning and you've got to plan your day, get jobs booked in, see what the weather's like, then kind of to decide if at last minute you have to cancel it because it's too dangerous for windy conditions or just horrendously wet. No, I don't mind working in the rain. It's generally just water and you get waterproofs, you crack on. When you're on lawns, you're gonna poach all the grass and the mud up, then obviously you might have to cancel those jobs. But generally, yeah, you just crack on, don't you? Because it's a working day. There's only so many days you can lose to rain days. If I didn't go to work every time I looked at the weather forecast the night before, and they said it's gonna be horrendous, or as I call it, a two raindropper, if you look at the old BBC nonsense, then I never go to work. This job, for example, Right, half a day we've been on this job, and if we listened to the forecast, well, we'd have done nothing. Then we rocked on and did some mowing. Right, so we've had no rain at all. I've uh, left that one hedge job, done another hedge job, and now picking a mower up to go and cut some lawns. I am now uh, out on a ride on mower cutting some grass. I'm really shouting, couldn't you hear me? Anyway, it hasn't rained the drop all day. We are now three o'clock. We're on a big old lawn cut here now. Now, those couple of jobs you've just seen were yesterday, and the forecast, like I said, was meant to be horrendous, a two raindropper, and everyone said to me, if you're going to be out working tomorrow, you're off your aid. Well, we cleared a load of jobs, got a day's work in, so not necessarily off my head at all. Well, you know. Today, however, it's meant to be dry, and I'm looking past you, and out of the window, it's chucking down. It's also very windy, you know, that sideways rain, the real special stuff. But still out and about, still rocking on and getting jobs done. So this weather thing, cancelling work and planning work around the weather and these often wrong forecasts, you've just got to kind of do the best you can and plod on really. Know your customers, know your jobs, know the ground you can and can't get onto when it is wet because that's the main thing. There's no point in doing a job if you're going to create more mess. If you're cutting hedges and it's all down the drive and you're on concrete or block paving or whatever they've got, just crack on. You're not going to make any mess. All you're going to do is get a bit wet, isn't it? Right, let me know what you think of the old forecasts, how much planning do you put into it, and is there a particular forecaster that you use you think is more reliable? Because the ones I look at, as generally the BBC and MSN, they're both pretty crap, I reckon. But there we go. Right, thanks for checking in. Whatever you're up to, I hope it's going well. We'll catch you all later.